Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today we're going to look at uh, enhancing our line trace kind of functionality by adding some effects and doing other stuff like that based on uh, kind of the hit location of our line trace. Uh, so with that, let's get started. First thing we'll do is we'll go into our first person character, and if you recall, we have this kind of weapon firing functionality, and then it applies damage. All right. But now we're going to go ahead and try to add some kind of, uh, you know, maybe some particle effects and some sound when we when we hit something, okay? So what we're going to be using for that is this location value, okay? So if we want to see where it's hitting really quick, um, we can do a quick print string, all right? And we'll just hook up the location like so, and we'll be able to print, you know, whatever the location of the hit is. Um, you know, not that like this has anything to do really with where we're spawning the particles, but it's just like it's helpful to be able to kind of debug a little bit. So, as you see, you know, when we hit something, it shows in the top left kind of where the hit location is taking place, right? And this can be helpful if you're trying to like you know do anything complicated with hit trace or hit or line traces. Uh, but basically, as you can see, you know, you can you can print out the uh, the location. So that's what we're going to be using for um, doing these particle systems and sounds. So how we'll do it is we'll drag out and we will say spawn emitter at location. Okay. So the location that we'll do it at is this hit location. And then I am using the starter content. So if we click the little drop down here, we can find the explosion. So I'll use that. All right. Then we're also going to want to play a sound at location okay so we'll go ahead and play the sound and we'll do the explosion cue now the location will again be the hit location and this is actually really loud by default so I'm going to set it to like 0.1 so it's a lot quieter uh, but you know you can of course play around with yours so we'll hit play really quick and now if I fire you can see far away it's showing or you know playing that little particle system effect and you know now if we're really close we can probably hear it I don't know if you guys can actually hear that or not but basically it's uh, it plays a sound at the location so kinda cool um, so that's kind of that uh, some other things you can look at are um, you can do uh, let's see what is it play sound or rather, you can spawn a sound at location or spawn a sound attached. And, you know, like it says, it basically just it, it spawns a sound. It's very similar to, um, you know, playing a sound. It just, there's a lot more that you can, I guess, do with it. Um, and, yeah, stuff like that, I guess. Um, but basically, this spawn attached, right, you can take this return value and plug it into attached to component, and it'll actually attach itself to this emitter. So it'll, you know, I guess attach it to wherever the spawn location is. So um, there's something you could do there. I'm actually going to get rid of that. Now another thing you could do with uh, spawning emitters is, um, and this would probably happen before you uh, do the line trace, you'd probably want to do what I'm about to say before this, but uh, one thing you can do is a spawn uh, emitter attached. Okay. Basically, this allows you to attach an emitter, you know, whatever you want, um, to a specific component or an attach point name. Um, so basically, let's say you have like a uh, kind of like a muzzle flash effect, right? And we have this gun here, okay? So basically, what you could do is on your on your your mesh for the weapon, right? You could go to the the skeleton, or if it's just a static mesh, you know, you just go to the static mesh. And basically, you could add a um, a socket to it and then you could spawn you know kind of effects at these locations so we have this socket here called muzzle which is built in um, but you know to add one you just like right click and say add a socket that'd be pretty easy uh, but we have this muzzle right so um, we could go back to the event graph here and what we could do is we could get our our weapon here which is the FP gun okay we could get this we could say um, get mesh I believe, or no, not mesh. Get, uh, get sock, yeah, get socket. Like you could get the socket location and stuff like that, um, and then of course you'd plug it in there. Uh, but a more efficient way to do it 
right, would be to simply plug your scene component here, or this gun, into the attached to component, and then you could specify the exact name of what you want to spawn. So we could say, you know, muzzle, which is, you know, the exact name of the socket, um, and it is case sensitive, so that's something to be aware of. Um, and, you know, you could, you can change the kind of location type, and then you could add the particle system to play. So let's actually, yeah, I guess we'll do a, a fire explosion, okay? And basically, this is probably something, you know, you'd want to play these effects before the line trace because, I mean, they, you know, they happen before you fire a weapon usually, um, or I guess as you're firing, but, you know, it, it really doesn't matter. We'll just plug that in like so. Hook this up. And now if we press play, we fire, see it's playing the uh, that explosion emitter right right at our face. So obviously it's pretty ridiculous, but you can see how you can start to uh, you know add emitters to your weapons and kind of do cool stuff like that. Okay, so um, anyways, that's just a quick look at kind of adding some effects. Um, in the next video, we'll look at um, probably changing up effects based on a physics material so um, that's another kind of cool thing you can do uh, but with that guys thanks for watching and uh, if you like the video like or subscribe and we will see you in the next one